unlike the CRAW, the new Kindergarten Readiness Assessment, it covers content across six areas versus just literacy. So with that information, we're able to gauge if the student has the social skills and the physical development that they need when they start school. And we're able to see if students have the skills of sharing and following directions and we're able to give them the intervention that they need and push them forward in that area if they're ready. I found that it was very nice in my classroom. It was tested over a long period of time as opposed to the crawl where we set up appointments for the students to come in in the past and they would be tested over one or two days. And I found that when we did that, sometimes the students would come in, they would be nervous, um, they would not necessarily interact with the teacher. Using the new assessment results, an example would be if um, I pulled a child over and I asked them if they could tell me, I told them what letter it was, and I asked them what sound does it make, and if they were not able to do it, it would help me drive my instruction to pull them in a small group and let them know, okay, well, we're gonna work on this and we're gonna work on it one-on-one, -on -one. or if there was a small group of kids that couldn't do their letter sounds, I would pull them over in a small group. And if I also noticed that the whole group, my whole group was struggling with it, we would do a whole group instruction on it and reteach and keep practicing with it. You could fit it right into the daily schedule of the classroom. Um, I would do it during center time. It just worked really well with the daily routine and it worked well with my classroom. I think the children will really enjoy having the manipulatives in their hands. I really enjoy the new kindergarten readiness assessment because it's easier, it gives a full picture of the student's ability, and it also you can just embed it right into your instruction time.